Here we go. Uh, Raymond asks, uh, how does one program a parrot or uh, disconnect for direct RF repeaters? Uh, here's an example. When the parrot is time slot 1 and talk group 9998, I get no audio feedback um, and it looks like an error on the control link page. Same for talk group 9990. Okay, let me fully understand this here. Let's see. So we have, okay, so we're trying to connect to a parrot and a disconnect. Parrot is time slot one. Now, well, typically the, the parrot is 9990. That's the parrot talk group, at least the, the one I'm familiar with. Um, let's see. Yeah, so if you have your local repeater, uh, you'll obviously you want to make sure your frequencies and color code are correct. Uh, if they are, then when you add your channel with that talk group, uh, select your, you know, talk group is talk group 9990. So let me switch over to the computer here. We'll go into a little bit more detail. We'll unhide that zone again. Um, so if we go over to our channels, and I think I have, I just did one for the local repeater, so we'll find it. Oops. There it is. Well, first, let's take a look at our talk groups. Digital. Uh, let's see. Contact slash talk group. There we go. So if we look for 9990. Oops, that must be the number of them. Got a lot of talk groups in here, so it can be challenging to find all of them. There we go. Nine. Well, maybe. Well, either way, we'll create a new one here real quick. We've got too many talk groups to find them. So we'll create a talk group. Let's say we want the parrot. In this case, that's going to be a private call if you're on the parrot. Most talk groups, you always want to have a group call. This is where you put the number in. So you actually, I, you know, I assume uh, you probably are just typing the number, but we wouldn't want to put letters in here, and in fact, it won't let us. So 9990, uh, and then just click OK. That's all there is to the talk group. Obviously, this one already exists. Then go back out to your channel, and when you create your repeater channel, so I have my repeater channel here. Make sure your frequencies are right. Uh, channel type, digital. Set your power, probably turbo if it's a repeater, depending on how close it is. Uh, DMR mode, make sure that is set to repeater right down here. If it's set to simplex, which often it is, it will not work. Uh, over on this side, obviously you gotta have a radio ID and a, a call sign in your radio. You gotta have your radio ID or else you will not get through. Um, then your contact, that's going to be the talk group. So this section here, that is where you select the talk group. So if we want the parrot, uh, again, I have a lot of talk groups in here, so it's hard to find anything. Um, one of the, the great reasons of that ultra code plug, it does all the setup for you. It takes so many hours to just go set up an entire code plug like that. Uh, but we have that in here already. Let's say that's, we'll imagine that's the parrot. Um, and then obviously your color code, that's going to be the same for everything on that repeater, should be anyway. And then the time slot, that may be different based on talk groups, so you'll have to find out what time slot they're running for the parrot, uh, but typically they're the same, uh, so you'll figure that out. And you may try both of them if, if, if there's no information on it, and that should get you through. Uh, same thing for the disconnect, and same thing for just about every other talk group. Now, for more talk groups, uh, if that's the, you know, primarily the only repeater you use it with, you can create a new channel for each different talk group, similar to what we have here for the SkyBridge. Uh, now, if you use, use it with a lot of repeaters, you, you may want to just leave one channel for each repeater. 
and then manually select the talk group. Uh, it just depends what your primary use is on how you set that up, but hopefully that helps.